So today our first recipe is a roasted corn and sweet pepper soup. And this is like super simple, guys. You just need a few ingredients. And a lot of this stuff can be found at your farmer's market. So this is uh, about two cups of corn. And you can use fresh corn. I mean, here in Pennsylvania, we got corn fields all over the place, <laughs> so there's no shortage. Uh, or you can also use frozen corn. And I just put this on a cookie sheet, stuck it in the oven under the broil setting until it started to get just a little bit brown. So I'm going to set that aside. Uh, and now I have here some uh, sweet peppers. These are bell peppers. These little tiny sweet peppers are also really good. You don't want to use green peppers. Um, green peppers are very bitter, but these red ones and orange and yellow peppers have a much sweeter taste. So give them a shot. If you think you don't like green peppers, I bet you'll like these. So we're just going to cut these and break them down into big chunks, and then we're going to add them to a pot. So this is about two to three cups or so of uh, sweet peppers chopped. And this is uh, half of uh, one white onion. And now we're gonna add about three cups of broth. So I have water and then I'm gonna add uh, my favorite broth mix. And this is half of a tablespoon of dried thyme. And we're gonna get this simmering on the stove for about 20 minutes just to get everything really soft. So once the vegetables have cooked, we're gonna go ahead and add them to a blender and be careful not to splash yourself, <laughs> especially if it's hot. There we go. And I have some roasted corn already in this. I'll just add a little bit more. So there's gonna be about two cups of corn all together. And if you feel like it's not thick enough, you could always add more. And now we're just gonna blend this on a medium high blend. Uh, you can make it super creamy if you want, but I wanna keep some texture to it. Okay, and that just takes a few seconds in the blender. And believe it or not, the soup is already done. You see how easy that is? Very minimal prep time. So we'll go ahead and pour that in our bowl. And you can see, as I said, it's still chunky. That's preferable to me, but you feel free to blend it and make it really smooth if you want. And we'll garnish that with just a little bit of color. These are some fresh chives. Ah, that looks so good. This is an awesome summer soup. You can eat it hot, you can eat it cold, and I hope you guys enjoy this roasted corn and sweet pepper soup. <laughs>